So today's video is a makeup tutorial. I created this all matte look. You know, everyone's been loving shimmer and highlights so much. but So I created this all matte look just for a refreshing change. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. I am really digging this uh, all matte kind of a look lately. I really like this simple but sophisticated look so without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video so first i'm prepping my skin with this pack primer i've been using this a lot lately if you want to see a complete video on this pack primer uh, i'm going to leave a link here do check it out it is the pore minimizing primer now i'm using this innisfree uh, my foundation it is in the shade w33 i am really enjoying this foundation because it is a very good foundation for every day it lasts a long time on the face and it's very lightweight and the look is almost like skin so i really enjoy wearing it when i don't want to look cakey so for everyday purpose i think this is my go-to uh, foundation currently and I like the fact that it's a full coverage foundation, especially because um, I want to look as natural as it is possible. Now I'm using the Age Rewind um, Concealer by Maybelline on my under eyes and um, other areas where I feel there is a lot of discoloration. I'm also going to use this on my eyelids to cancel out the discoloration on my eyes now i'm going ahead with a lip balm on my lips just to keep them hydrated now to set the concealer i'm using the loose powder by laura mercier this is my go-to loose powder but i'm also enjoying the innisfree loose powder lately and i also heard of the Maybelline fit me. I haven't used it so far, but I'm really excited to use them But when I do I will let you know about my review. I'm using this naked uh, palette naked chocolate palette by makeup revolution and I'm just going to use two Brown shades from this palette for my eyes and I'm going to use one mm, this color light shade color for highlighting under my eyebrows Anytime you want to pick up eyeshadow on your brush, you must always tap the brush before you get it on your eyes because uh, this particular palette is very pigmented and you just need a little bit of it to get the color on your eyes. I love this palette because it's all neutral. You have cool tone and you have warm tone of neutrals. It is like my go-to palette. I can never go wrong with this palette. So I've just used the lighter shade on the um, on my eyelid and on the corner of my eyes I'm using this dark shade and that's about it. This palette is great if you're not uh, a makeup expert or you're just a beginner because uh, these are all the um, perfect shades that you can use on everyday basis or uh, you can never go wrong with these shades especially for Indian skin tone. I'm extending the eyeshadow a little bit on my corner of my eyes just to elongate my eyes. And now I'm just going to blend all the eyeshadow that I've put on my eyes with a clean brush. So it's blending, blending, blending. Blending is my favorite cardio, it seems. 
so sorry guys if you see the change in light because i am living in a place where it rains almost every day and it just gets so dark at times i'm having a really tough time filming so now i'm using this light shade from this palette to highlight my brow bone Okay, so I'm using this Innisfree eyebrow pencil to define my, to set my eyebrows. I really enjoy this Innisfree eyebrow pencil because it does come with a spoolie at one end and it has a angular pencil which really gives my, uh, it gives a very natural look when I use it. I don't really need to do a lot with my eyebrows because I generally have a very bushy eyebrows. Just a little bit of it just goes a long way for me. I'm also using the same um, light shade on the inner corner of my eyes to brighten it up. All the eyeshadows that I've used here are all matte. I haven't used any uh, shimmer or sh glitter or anything just because I want it to look all matte. And I'm using this... Uh, mac bronzing powder in the shade solar rich to i don't know if it is rich or rich r-i-c-h-e um i'm using this to bronze my face and contour at the same time that shine you see that glow you see on my cheekbone i'm telling you guys it's not a highlighter it's just the glow that is coming from the foundation and my original skin glow and that's the reason why I like this foundation a lot. Now I'm using this Maybelline Blush by Maybelline Blush Studio Cheeky Glow in the shade Creamy Cinnamon. I love this shade a lot for my skin tone. It just gives me a very natural blush on my cheeks like I'm glowing from within. So it's nothing fancy. Lining my waterline with a uh, kajal. I'm just lining it on the outer corner. I'm using this uh, eyeliner by Dolly Wink. I absolutely love this eyeliner because it has a brush tip instead of the felt tip, which I find it very hard on my skin. I enjoy this uh, soft brush. Uh, tip eyeliner it just is so good it feels like calligraphy it is that kind of a pen I prefer this one as it's completely matte it's it's completely jet black matte and I find I doing my eyeliner with this more easy again not doing anything extravagant or anything too much I'm just making a small wing on the corner of my eyes and that's about it now that I have my eyeliner in place I'm curling my eyes uh, before I use the mascara The mascara that I'm using today is the Lash Paradise L'Oreal Mascara. I've done a complete video and comparison between the Lash Paradise and the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I like this uh, mascara when I have to go out because it gives me a false lashes kind of a look. But for everyday purpose, I prefer Maybelline Lash Sensational just because it is. it looks more natural. It just looks like my naturally... Uh, my eyelashes are pretty long and fluttery so once my eyes are done completely I'm not using any fake lashes because I just want to keep it as simple as possible I'm going ahead with my lips I'm contouring my lips with this um, lip pencil by pack and then I'm going to use this lipstick by MAC which is called World. I really like this shade for everyday use. It is just so beautiful. I think for a, for Indian skin tone, this is a beautiful shade for nude shade. I'm sure for deeper skin tone. And with that, I finish my look.
I hope you like this video. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.